Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah? Uh, very good to have you all here, and uh, thanks to our colleagues for uh, the lightning talks, the very great messages. Thank you. The longer I work in the field of education, the more convinced I am that we are trapped. Trapped inside of something that we can't see, we can't hear, we can't feel, we can't touch. Trapped by structures of what I would call formal education. And I think we need to escape into something called a full spectrum of learning. Formal education. It's built on its own set of assumptions. There are very clear roles for the teachers, clear roles for the students. It's built on stability, consistency. It functions as a closed system, highly resistant to external forces, highly resistant, obviously, to change. It is as if we are trapped inside of a formal education matrix. My favorite character from the movie, The Matrix, is Morpheus. Morpheus tells us that we are slaves born into a prison for our minds. And most of us are not ready to be unplugged, and many of us are so dependent on the system that we will actually fight to protect it. Morpheus challenges us to make a difficult choice. We can take the blue pill and return back to the matrix, or we can take the red pill and escape the matrix and enter into the real world in which we actually live. Think of formal education like a zoo. Attendance is easily measured. There are clearly marked courses that guide us to observe subject species within standardized boundaries. We are fed on a regular schedule. Admission is paid. Visitors are only permitted during operating hours. Think of informal learning as like the savanna. Attendance is difficult to take. There are few marked courses. Subject species roam freely without any standardized boundaries. Feeding is irregular. There is no controlled admissions. There are no restrictions on operating hours. For the savanna, you need a really good guide because this stuff is wild, it's dangerous, it's real. Now, instead of thinking of either formal education or informal, I want you to visualize a spectrum ranging from formal education blending into semi-formal education blending into informal education, everything in between. And what I want to do is share with you some information, some experiences that we are trying to do at Saigon South International School to enter into this broader spectrum of education. One example would be our Makerspace program. It supports formal education. A teacher may take their whole class down to the Makerspace. The students are working on an assigned project, and it will be formally graded. But our Makerspace program also supports semi-formal learning, where a student might choose during their free time to come down to their Makerspace and to choose an activity from a menu of options so that they can do that activity, learn some specific skills, and actually earn a badge. But it's optional. Or it supports informal learning, where a student might just choose to come in during their recess time and play, tinker, discover, whatever they want. Another example I want to share with you is something that we've recently done called Project X. Ambitiously, this project involved all of the students in grades 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 in our school, full-time for an entire week, an open schedule every day. And it was a school-wide experiment challenging the traditional structures of formal education, such as grade levels, room assignments, homeroom teachers, report card grades, class schedules, and subjects. 
Project X ended up serving as an incubator of educational innovation, where all students in these grades two through eight were involved in small, multi-age groups. And the students would choose a topic that they were interested in, and then they would develop a research question around that topic and develop a plan for how they were going to work on that topic so that they could create some kind of project that answered their research question, and at the end of the week, they presented that project to an audience of others. Free-flowing locations, flexible teaching assignments, no classes, no lessons, no subjects, no periods, no schedules, no grades, just Project X. Wild, dangerous, real. Now these two examples, the makerspace shows how one program can support the full spectrum in learning. Project X serves as an example of how informal learning can be brought into the school to balance what during the rest of the year is still quite infused with formal learning. My main point is this, every school, every day, we have to make decisions. In those decisions, are we choosing to continue to return back to the formal education matrix, or are we choosing to escape into a full spectrum of learning? As Morpheus cautions us, if you take that red pill, all he is offering is the truth. Thank you.